you're even there I feel like I'm standing still I'm just going nowhere Lord, my soul is searching And I feel unworthy But then you pick me up And you let me know Father, we want to say thank you now. Thank you, God, for this ministry opportunity. For we do realize, God, that it is that which was ordained from the very beginning of time. That we would be able to go forth sharing the gospel through song. We ask, oh God, that as we would minister in song, that you would allow your anointing to rest upon each and every song. And uh, not only do we pray for your anointing, but we pray, oh God, for your divine protection. As we travel up and down the dangerous highway, oh Lord, bless Oh, Lord, we may be able to meet our destination. And uh, when we get there, oh, God, we ask, oh, Lord, that you would prick hearts, change minds, that are uh, as the word comes forth, that our lives will be changed. Oh, we realize, oh, God, one of these old days, we've got to come down to the end of our journey. Lord, be somewhere close that we'll be able to lean our head upon our peaceful breath and breathe our lives out sweetly down. It is in the mighty name of Jesus we pray and ask all of these blessings. Count them done now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen.
Hello and welcome to the Pastor Jack Triple Hour with Pastor Jack and Linda Gale, bringing you some of the finest gospel music this side of heaven with words of our Lord's wisdom to live by. Pastor Jack and Linda Gale, under the leadership of our Lord Jesus Christ, are managers of KOTG, KBAF, and Bayou Gospel Radio, all part of the WOTG Radio and TV Network. Did you know in Christ you can find peace in the midst of the storm? Jesus said in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We invite you to be an active part of this God-led ministry by sharing and telling others about this program and our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom they serve. Now here is Pastor Jack and Linda Gale. Well, good morning and praise the Lord. Welcome back. I trust and we trust that you had a prosperous and blessed weekend. And we're back today on this fantastic Monday morning that the Lord hath made. And we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I know you all feel the same way. We're glad to be back again today. And uh, to be coming to you, I'm going to say good morning uh, to Jana Bostic, Spring Flower. Hello, Laura Brock. Hello, Donnie Wayne Clemens. Good morning. Good morning. Glad you enjoyed that. We enjoyed it. Boy, did we have a time. If there's anybody out there uh, that needs a group uh, to come to your church that will be a blessing to you, We'll bless your people. The Parnells are available. They have booking. Just look them up. Parnells on Facebook and get a hold of them. And uh, uh, when I get the number in front of me, I can also give you their booking number. And uh, I'll tell you, they were really a blessing to the house. Oh, <laughs> people left here. People didn't want to leave here. They hung around. And man, I'll tell you, we just had a great time yesterday. And and I uh, hope those of you that watched it also enjoyed it. And it was uh, streaming on WOTG TV this morning. It's also on Roku and uh, on YouTube. Uh, so, I mean, you can check it out in all them places if you want to see it again. And uh, good morning, Sandra Peretti. Uh, well, I'm trying to go to Lois Kearse. Kearse, hello. God bless you. And let's see, I'm going down the line here. Don't want Heidi Herring. Good morning, and tell Mom hi. If she's not awake, then just tell her when she when she wakes up. I'll tell you, we appreciate Sister Heidi and her mom, and thank God for them. We thank God for each and every one of you. You all are such a blessing to the Pastor Jack Triple Hour. Oh, by the way, has anyone noticed the new? new coloring and the new new deal we're doing that well i want to give a shout out right now uh to donna bryant you know she does a lot behind the scenes a lot of work and uh, she designed that and designed the page and our logo over there the pastor jack triple hour there on the left hand corner uh the cross with the flag she designed that and she put a lot of work in into all this and and brother chuck uh of course he come and help me get it uh, get it up here where where we could use it and uh we thank both of them very much so that that artwork that design work that is sister donna bryant amen and she is a blessing to the ministry she works hard and uh oh i got a deal update popping up there saying my computer's ready to update. Well, it's going to have to wait because I'm not giving it the okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. So anyway, all this prettiness this morning is uh, due to uh, uh, Donna Bryant and Chuck Bryant, um, husband and wife, work together as a team and just do everything to help the TV and the radio network. So I'm, I'm happy with it, and I think it looks really good, and uh, I'll just feel blessed today you know what i'm saying i feel blessed and after that service yesterday how could one not 
feel blessed. Well, let's get on with the music today because God's blessing some folks here today through the music and through the word. Going to be blessed, edified, lifted up, encouraged, strengthened, amen, and everything's going to work out according to his purpose for your good. That's his plan. Here now are the inspirations with the sooner the better. Where is the promise of his coming, some would ask. Since the first time I heard it, many years have passed. Though no one knows the hour, he said, watch for the signs. I see them all around us, so it could be any time. The sooner, the better, the coming of our Lord. For since Jesus saved me, that's what I've been waiting for. I don't want to leave anybody, so let's work while there's time. The sooner, the better, today would be just fine. Now stop and think about it. What if today could be the beginning of our new life for all eternity? So if ready then friend you should be saved the sooner the better cause he may come today the sooner the better the coming of our lord for since jesus saved me that's what i've been waiting for i don't want to leave anybody so let's work while there's time the sooner the better today would be just fine the sooner the better the coming of our lord for since jesus saved me that's what i've been waiting for i don't want to leave anybody so let's work while there's time the sooner the better today would be just fine Praise God. That was the inspirations. And let's take a listen now to Debbie Bergeron with Chiseled in Stone. To have a chat with God To verify their path was right But while he was gone The party went on And God was far from their mind They made a calf of gold Who were corrupt and lost their souls Savior had to set them right On a lightning bolt God's words came to life, chiseled in stone, commandments to live by. He said, I am your God, put nothing before me, don't use my name in vain, and keep Sunday holy. Honor mom and dad, don't love another's wife, don't covet anything, don't steal, kill, or lie. Changed. Man is still the same, cutting corners on the fast track. Still looking for the gold, we'll corrupt your soul. You think by now we should realize on a lightning bolt, God's word came to life. They were chiseled in stone, commandments left by. Keys, I know that honor mother and dad don't love. 
of it anything Don't steal, kill, or lie Steal, kill, or lie. Hallelujah, that was Debbie Bergeron all the way up there in Alberta, Canada, coming to us this morning on KOTG Radio, KBAF Radio, and by you, Gospel Radio, all part of the WOTG Radio Network and the WOTG TV Network, where Chuck Bryant is the general manager and Jesus Christ is the owner and the CEO. And you got it. None of us would have it any other way. If it wasn't for Jesus, it wouldn't be anything. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. Can somebody say, Jesus? Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus. We give you honor, Jesus, to you be the glory. You're the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and without you, we are no thing. We are nothing, that's for sure. I'll tell you, man, he is gooder than good, always good, and not just part-time, but all of the time. Joyce Leonardi, good morning. Did I say hello, Susan Sadler? Well, I hope so, because I did now anyway. So we got you. I don't want to miss saying hello to anybody. And uh, so if I have missed anyone, hello. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. And we're going to ride this train, I'm telling you, and enjoy what God has for us today. Here now are the Louder Milks with Gospel Train. Listen to 
me sinners, this train's moving down the line. You better act in faith, get your soul safe, or you won't make it in time. It's picking up speed, so give your heart to the Lord. This is the final call, come one and all. the louder mills and let's take a listen now to nancy stevens mckinney with count your blessings hello nancy mckinney christina oscar hello we're the family friends money and love the lord with all his heart so the devil went to god and said oh you should take away his fortune. Let me put him to the test. Soon poor Job had lost his health and wealth and all the rest. And as his troubles added up, he fell down 
Yes, that was Nancy Stevens McKinney, and I want to say hello to uh, uh, hello to Dr. Mario Ramos, and I uh, uh, sure don't want to miss anybody in here. Donnie Clemens, hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. Spring Flower, you have a wonderful day. Sorry you had to go, but you know, uh, sometimes things are just that way, but you have a great, prosperous, blessed day. And we'll be back here again tomorrow. We're not going nowhere. And uh, you can catch us in. Uh, I think I said hello to Christina Oster already. And if I hadn't, then I want to make sure I do. Uh, hallelujah. You know, you all are so blessed. And it's such a joy and a privilege to be able to, to know you and to be able to share with you. And for us to come together here on the Pastor Jack Triple Hour it makes my day, <laughs> amen, hallelujah, and uh, we pray that Jesus makes your day, <laughs> hallelujah, he is, come on, the best of the best, he's the host with the most, <laughs> amen, hallelujah, he can do you like no one else can do you, aren't you glad for that, oh, come on, somebody say, he can do me like nobody else can do me, amen, here now are the Parnells with Heal me.
Yes, hallelujah. That was the Parnells, and I mean to tell you, yesterday they did such an awesome job here at Bethel Temple KOTG Radio. People were touched. I mean, people's lives were forever changed. People were healed. Come on, I tell you, the ministry just flowed through here. The power of God was in the house, and it wasn't man. It was the Lord. It was so easy to minister, so easy to worship, so easy, come on, to get in tune with God. I'm telling you, hearts came together desiring, amen, the touch of God. And just like the music here today, if the song is speaking to you, I uh, see Sandra did. She said, amen, heal me, I need a touch. Reach out and touch him. As these songs are playing today, if they touch your heart, if they oh, move you, just go ahead and reach out. Call upon the Lord and receive because I believe the music is prophesying. Oh, hallelujah, like it was yesterday. And if you need a group to come into your church, you're a pastor or someone that has that uh, 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 ministry to bring ministers into the church, the Parnells would do you well. The Christ in them, oh, hallelujah, is highly lifted up and exalted. Man didn't exalt himself. Amen. They exalted Christ. And we just thank God. And uh, uh, Charles or Gary or uh, Debbie, if you're listening here today, know that this, that Pastor Jack, Linda Gale, Bethel Temple, KOTG Radio, thank you so much for coming and giving of yourself yesterday that we might receive from the Lord. And I tell you, I'm still bouncing and dancing. I'm still feeling the glory cloud here in the house. Amen. God's so good. God's so good. So good. Well, let's take a listen now to Lizzie G with Got a Lot to Do. Late for school and the light is red And I'm moving Got a lot to do Gotta make the grocery run Pick up my baby's medicine Not enough hours in the day Oh, I've still got bills to pay And I'm moving Got a lot to do Don't let distraction make you lose traction. Keep Jesus first. Thank God I took the extra hour to get up and pray before my feet hit the floor. Before I started my day, Lord, I need you to strengthen me anew each and every day. It's easy to forget in the chaos that life brings. To acknowledge the King of Kings. In church, the preacher said. Raise the dead. Then those alive in Christ are gonna split the sky. So we got a lot to do. Preacher said, don't let. Yes, pray. 
Records God. That was Lizzie G. And I also want to thank each and every one of you, those of you that were in the uh, service yesterday. Thank you for joining us. And so glad you were there and uh, glad that God touched you and that you received something from the broadcast. Hallelujah. We just streamed it out there. And those of you that joined, oh, man, I'll tell you, uh, <laughs> I, I've got to hush now because that's enough. I, I mean, uh, it, it's, I was so blessed, so blessed, and so touched by what went on yesterday. And everybody that uh, came in online and, and all that were here, I mean, it was a mighty outpouring of the Spirit of God. And thank you, thank you, thank you for joining and being part of it. And hello to anyone that I might have missed on here this morning. Uh, Brother Andy Bass, hello. God bless you. Uh, I'm seen earlier, it looked like uh, Brother Randy was in. But uh, if you are, hello, good morning, God bless you. And uh, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for being part of us here. And, uh, whoa, I better get my screen back. I'm talking to you without my webcam. <laughs> there we go. Here we are. We're back. You should see that pop back up again. And everything that you're seeing this morning on the screen uh, again, I want to recognize uh, 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 sis Sister Donna Bryant, Brother Chuck's wife. She's done an excellent job putting together the screen, and she works hard behind the lines and uh, does a great job supporting Brother Chuck and WOTG TV network and the entire WOTG radio network as well. And so we just thank them uh, both for their 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 hard work and their love and want to thank them th for the opportunity they've given us to be part of this it's just a it's a beautiful wonderful thing and then we thank each and every one of you for being part of it and know that God's uh, uh, and I'm not just saying this out of my heart I'm telling you God's opening the windows of heaven and he's pouring out his blessings upon his people right now and all we have to do is lift our hands lift our hearts and and lift our voice and say i receive it in jesus name but it's going to be such an outpouring oh come on your your your, your cups are going to overflow and your saucers going to be full that you can drink from your saucer you won't be able to outrun and when we're talking blessings, we're not just talking about green. We're not talking about just finances. We're talking about every area of your life, spiritually, physically, oh, financially, emotionally, every area of your life. He's pouring it out. This, oh, hallelujah, this is going to be one of the greatest times that the church has ever known. And guess what? man's not going to be able to claim it man's not going to be able to interfere with it god's doing it for whosoever will it's yours reach out and take what he has for you hello brother earl king god bless you good to see you today here now is welton lane with almost persuaded place 
his nail scarred hands right here on my hand. Then he whispered in my ear, Welton, I love you. Oh, just come on and go. Yes, praise God. That was a Welton Lane. And here now are first fruits with this move today.
When I get up in the morning, there he is. When I'm sitting at the table, there he is. When I get myself in trouble, when I'm tempted by the devil, when I'm reading from the Bible, there he is. When I lay awake at night, there. See the light, there he is. When I'm trying to be strong, when I don't know right from wrong, when I don't know right belong, there he is. Cause he is in my heart, he's been there from the start, he's my. song was there he is and he is there because he's in our hearts he lives in us and dwells in us come on he's always there he said what i'll never leave you nor forsake you oh hallelujah but he would go with us all the way to the very end the end of what the end of the church age hallelujah because life is never going to end hey man we'll be with him for an eternity. Hello, uh, Retna Kumari and Betty Sullivan. Good morning. Hello. God bless you. And uh, we're just going to get back uh, with the music here. want you to enjoy yourself, to be blessed. Uh, let God touch you. And as these songs, they're prophesying the words of the songs today, prophesying, amen, speaking to your heart, speaking to your spirit, speaking to your soul, to touch you, to lift you up, to encourage you, to edify you, to give you your breakthrough in this season. Amen. Amen. Here now is Bonita Eileen with the name of the Lord is more powerful. <laughs> So-called God made of clay So place the lamb on the altar and call 
a blessing. You are listening to Pastor Jack and Linda Gale on KOTG Radio and TV, KBAF, Bayou Gospel, and See the Vision Radio. You will also find us on Facebook Live, Pinterest, and YouTube. And here now are the Pine Ridge Boys with Wine Into Water. You know, so many times we find ourselves thinking that We're the only ones that can fix our problems. We hurt and we push others away that are there to help us, thinking the whole time that we can do this on our own. The writer of this song battled with his addiction to alcohol every day until he turned it over to Christ. We all have battles that we face every day. I hope and pray that this song will touch you and be a blessing to you and help you through your battle. You've heard a multitude of prayers on my behalf. I pray one more, it's not too much to ask. I've tried to fight this battle by myself, but it's a war that I can't win without your help. Tonight I'm as slow as any man can go I'm down and I can't fall much farther And once upon a time you turn the water into wine Now on my knees I'm turning to you farther Could you help me turn the wine back in the water? So many times I've hurt the ones I love I pushed them to the edge of giving up They've stood by me, but how much can they stand? If I don't put this bottle in your hands Tonight I'm as low as any man can go I'm down and I can't fall much farther And once upon a time you turn the water into wine Now on my knees I'm turning Father, could you help me turn the wine back into water? I shook my fist at heaven for all the hell that I've been through. Now I'm begging for forgiveness and a miracle from you. Cause tonight I'm as slow as any man. Help me turn the wine back into water Could you help me turn this wine back into water Well, praise God, that was the Pine Ridge boys hey man and right now we have a special treat for you brand new song to pastor jack triple hour and uh, kotg radio and and it's it's getting spread around quick so we got to get it in and play it and uh it's an exclusive exclusive it's new uh new uh project a uh, new song by Marsha Sue Mitchell. Amen. And here it is. It's called Poster Child. Let's give it a listen. Get your crying rag out. 
hey, 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 get your box of Kleenex. You're going to need them. Let's give it a listen now. There's a picture and fingerprints Somewhere hanging on a wall The image of someone That I used to be Who lived a life of sin and shame Walking in the darkness day by day Till I met the man at Calvary Set free by the man from Galilee Poster child For the love of God I'm the poster child For his amazing grace picture with the words paid in full stamped across a debt I could not pay the price for my life was high and the bell was too steep I deserved to be locked up And throw away the key But mercy became my best friend When Jesus' cross showed up in my thumbprint Now when I look at my own face, all I can see is His amazing grace. Poster child, for the love of God. I'm the poster child, for His amazing grace. A picture with the words paid in full Stamped across a debt I could not pay Perfect picture of His grace Hallelujah. And that was Marsha Sue, Sue Mitchell's newest uh, release, The Pre Pink Preacher, as we know her, wears a pink cowboy hat. And I tell you, that girl can preach up a storm. <laughs> Amen. And uh, God's gifted her with songs, just like he has so many of you out there. And we are privileged and honored to be able to play your music and share it with the world well thank you sister isabel churchill and and uh, God, uh, blessings back to you sister and uh w amen and that's to all y'all uh, <laughs> there goes my country coming out now all y'all <laughs> that's okay you understand me god understands me i sometimes understand me but linda gale does hallelujah we appreciate each and every one of you and we thank you today for being here uh kotg radio kbaf radio by you gospel radio all part of the wotg radio network and tv network where chuck bryant is the general manager jesus christ is the owner and the ceo and if it wasn't for him where would we be oh come on somebody give god some praise up in the house today here now is ricky luster senior with let god be glorified <laughs> Bye. 
surely forever stand For the Lord himself shall descend from high To take away his pride We need to let God be glorified We need to lay everything aside And let God be glorified Lay everything aside And let God be glorified We need to lay everything aside And let God your problems or what you may be going through and just call upon my Jesus and he'll surely be there for you even through your deepest heartaches and every tear that you may cry still just let God be glorified we need to lay everything aside and let God be glorified just put everything aside Got your dancing shoes on? Oh, praise God. That was some toe-tapping stuff right there. Let God be glorified. That was Ricky Luster Sr., and they, he is going to be here June the 19th with uh, Danny Lemons and uh, probably about 10 other groups or so. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have a time here at Bethel Temple KOTG, and again, that's June the 19th. And we're excited, and if you're anywhere close, come on out and be part of it. Sister Dale Gilmer, hello, hello, God bless you. And if I've missed anybody on here today, God bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being part of it today. And we trust and believe that you're being blessed, lifted up, oh, hallelujah, encouraged and, and strengthened by the Lord. By request now, here is Richard Carr with I'll Praise You. The Spirit has raised me and held me to grow. Me things I should know Never gave up, Lord Your face it never turned But you strove with your servant Until he had learned That's why I'm willing I'm trying I'll do my very best to climb the mountain before me but I got to have your hand in mine no matter the cost Lord I've yielded my way
without you, Lord, I'm lost. But yet you so love me that you hung and died on the cross. You show me your mercy, your love without it. And I'll praise you, I'll praise you again and again. I praise you. Yes, hallelujah. That was Richard car amen and you know i'm gonna uh if you don't mind i'm gonna take a break here and let's let's go to the word and if if you have your bibles please get them open them up read along with me so that you know for sure that i'm reading the word and not reading what i want to say but that it's the word of god that's being read and when we do that, that way everybody sees it. It's not Pastor Jack saying it, but it's coming right out of the word. And if you want to get technical, if you got a red letter edition, this is his saying. Amen. This is him talking. And all of the word is him talking. It may, men may have written it. It may not have been uh, uh, a verbatim what Jesus said, but he is the word. John 1 1 come on in the beginning was the word the word was God the word was with God come on and there was nothing made that was not made by him and I know there's a little more to that scripture but I just paraphrase him right now and our whole walk with the Lord is about well it's not about getting things it's not about life being a cakewalk and never any obstacles it's not about us becoming popular and well liked it's not about us come on uh, uh, promoting ourselves getting the best position and the best thing promotion comes from God but see everything that we do as a Christian Everything that we say should be based upon one thing, his commandment in John 15 and 12. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Love one another as I have loved you. And I know, you know, there's some folks that say, well, you know, it's uh, when he, Jesus was talking to uh, the Pharisees and Jesus was talking to the uh, scribes and the, the sad Jews, he said, love one another as you love yourself. And that was one of the original ten given to Moses. But did anyone ever keep those? Could anyone ever keep them? 
but I guarantee you this commandment we can keep. But how, Pastor Jack? That how? That's that's tough. That's difficult. Come on. Well, do you not now have Christ in you? See, they didn't have that back then. And when Jesus spoke that, he was talking to them. He was talking. They were still under the law. Come on, now, Jesus said there would be nothing passed from the law, no jot nor tittle, until it was all fulfilled. And when he gave up his self there at the cross, he raised his head, and he said, it is finished. And by then, we know from life itself that many of us have a difficult time loving ourselves. And if we've been raised and have low self-esteem, it's even harder. Come on. And, and, and so he knew that man could not keep those regulations. He knew they could not keep those rules. And if you broke one of them, you broke all of them. Come on, not just the ten, but all the laws of the old covenant. If you broke one, you broke all of them. And man couldn't do it. But today, it's not by what we do. It's by what he did. And yes, we have to be obedient to his word. So being obedient to his word, what did he say? This is my commandment, that you love one another even as i have loved you jesus looked at us he seen us and in spite of us being lost undone vile sinners come on maybe we didn't commit some of the the grossest sins that some folks do but we were still vile sinners we were we were born in sin we were without god we deserved punishment, but he took our punishment there on the cross upon his shoulders. He took our sins upon his shoulders, and he simply gave us the command, first of all, believe in God. But then this one here, love one another as I have loved you. Now, some of you can maybe relate to that more than others. Because you know where you were in the dips, in the depths and the pit that you were in. But see, he looked beyond that. He looked beyond all of our faults and he saw our need. He redeemed us when we did not deserve it. We deserved the punishment that he took for us. We deserved. Oh, come on, hallelujah, uh, of being left out. But instead, he said, that's my creation. I don't care where they're at and what they're doing. I'm giving myself that they too might have life and be redeemed, set free from the curse of the sin. And all they have to do is believe on me, call upon me, confess that I am the Lord, and they shall be saved. And over in John, uh, we'll look at, at, at another place in John here, and I placed these scriptures, I pinned them there in the chat board so that you could keep up with them, that you could write them down, and that you'd have them, and that you could go back uh, during the day and, and uh, look at them, review them. Somebody says, well, I've seen this a hundred times. Well, See it a hundred more. Every time you see it, God can reveal to you something new in it. And it's not what we, it's not by the keeping of rules and regulations that make us right in him. Come on, it's not by those things, but it's by keeping his commandment to love one another as, and see, it's not hard to keep. It's just obedience to the word. It's not 
something that, man, I mean, you don't, <laughs> it's not something you got to do. You don't have to go build an altar. You don't have to go sacrifice a, a pigeon. You don't have to sacrifice a goat. You don't have to sacrifice a lamb. All you have to do is say, oh, the Lord said love one another, so I'm going to love one another. Now, in our own power, in our own ability, and that's where everything was was wrong back then was because everybody was trying to do it within their own power so that they could say, look what I did. But see, it's not with our own own, um, own power. It's by having the an anointing in us, having Christ in us. He is, oh, come on, agape love. He loves in spite of faults. He looks beyond the faults. He sees the needs. And you and I, now, why are you talking about love today, Pastor Jack? Because, see, love is what's going to carry us through. In the hard times, in the troubled times, in the trying times, in the times to come, the turmoil and the chaos that we're going to see, we need to have that love for one another. I see people today that they'll look at folks and, They'll say, well, because they don't do it the way I do it, they're not of God. That's not love, folks. We don't do that. We don't push one another away. We have to realize that we are the body of Christ. We are the branches. We are the limbs. We are the leaves. He is the vine. Come on, he is the head. And from him flows all the nutrients that the entire plant, the entire body needs. And then we come on each each one supplies the limbs go out to the extra limbs the limbs to the leaves the leaves come on and it flows through us flows through each one of us out to others there's something in you there's something in me there's something in Linda Gale there's something in everyone that people and parts of the body need. And if we are cutting ourselves off because they're not like me, I ain't going to bless God. I'm not going to love them. <laughs> we can say all day we love somebody. Come on. Oh, we can tell somebody all day. But talk is cheap. Action, who hallelujah, is proof. Do we set ourselves aside? Do we no greater love? Jesus said, what? No greater love is this that a man hath for another, that he laid down his life. We don't have to die on the cross. We don't have to let a truck run over us for somebody else. But our life, amen, and what we go after and pursue in our day, and it's all about, well, i got to eat first. I've got to have my coffee first. I've got to do this, and it's about me, and I've got to. No, we lay our life down, amen, for others. We esteem others better than ourselves come on we i'm talking about you want to walk in god you want the action of god moving in your life when we learn how to love like jesus loved when we learn how to love like he told us to love come on we can't learn it on our own we immerse ourselves in the word of god oh hallelujah we immerse ourselves in him and our nature changes Come on, he changes our nature from within, and then we can learn. And it doesn't come easy. It's a process. Come on. <laughs> come on, we don't just wake up one morning and say, boy, I love the whole world. I love everybody I love. Come on, it's a process. We have to continually allow his word to wash our, oh, come on, our, our mind, our will, our emotions, that we're no more seeking our will, but we're looking out for the betterment of the body of believers. No more is it about me, Pastor Jack, his for, and no more, but it's about everyone coming in to the knowledge and the wisdom, come on, and the anointing of an almighty God into a successful walk in him to be able to enter that rest to be able to receive all of your promised land here now somebody's waiting till 
someday over yonder with a piece of pie in the sky. That's good. There's coming a time where we're going to be caught up in the air to meet him. Come on. And, 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 and the blessings are not for heaven. If we can, come on, learn how to get into him here, how do we think we're going to get into him there? Come on, hallelujah. No doubt, no disbelief, no, no, oh, hallelujah, unbelief. We'll be able to enter the kingdom of God. The Bible tells us that anything without faith is a sin. But yet we harp on all these other things. Come on, hallelujah. And yet the same thing. So if we violated one, we break them all. And then he said in John 13, and 34, he said, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, I've seen people say, and I'll get ready for the scripture, I'm going to build up to it. I've seen a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm a person of God, because look, look how God's blessing my bank account. Look how... Look at the house I live in and how God's blessed me here. Look at the car I drive. God's blessed me here. I got clothes on my back. I got food on my table. So they should know I'm a person of God because God's blessing me. No, he said, by this will all men know that you are my disciples. If you have love one for another. Oh, come on. Give God some praise up in the house. God's Bring it forth. We are having, you know, I, 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 I'm going to share this with you, and I, I'm not sharing it for my, anything for me, but I remember in my evangelist years, I had a pastor, my pastor, uh, that used to call me Brother Love. He'd introduce me. He said, we got Brother Love with us here today. And I says, I told him one day, I said, Sam, why do you keep saying that? He said, because, Jack, you minister with love and compassion. And then I had to look at it, and I said, God, don't ever let me not be that person that ministers with love and compassion. Love and compassion doesn't look down on somebody's faults. Love and compassion sees beyond the, uh, 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 the problem and sees the need. Love and compassion does not judge somebody for a lifestyle they're in or for a habit or for something that that's got them bound love sees beyond that love says hey i love you jesus loves you and, and you know if you keep trusting in him trusting in his word he'll turn everything around for you and you won't have to walk in bondage you won't have to walk sl in slavery to that sin that thing that's got you chained, come on. But he will, he will break the bonds. He will break the chains. And it's him doing it. I don't run and tell him, you got to quit. You got to stop doing that. Say, no, you need to run to the Lord. You need to get into the word. You need to hear the word. You need to get into church. We're a preacher that's preaching the word. Come on, the word, hallelujah. The word, W-O-R-T, W-O-R-D, not T, word, W-O-R-D, come on, and Jesus is the word that's preaching Jesus and him crucified, and you'll get it. God will change you. God will deliver you. God will set you free. God will give you liberty. God will make you whole, and that liberty is not a license to sin. Come on. But it's, it's, it's freedom to live and enjoy a life in Christ Jesus and not working. I know that one scripture, every man was working on his own salvation. And that's because too many people trying to figure out who needs to be saved, how to get saved, who's going to hell and who's not, who's going to heaven. And he said, don't say who's going to ascend into heaven and don't say who's going to descend into hell. Pray for him. Love him. They can go where you're going, hey, man, hallelujah. Or maybe you'll end up going where you think they're going. I don't know. All I can say is Jesus loves his creation. Jesus loves his, he hates sin. Not the sinner, he hates sin. 
So what we do is we minister life and how he gave his life that we might be redeemed from the habit of sin. Come on, from a call. And if you get him and accept him, he comes into your life. He comes in you to live all through love. Hallelujah. And and then that old man, that old creature, creation that you were, it's dead, buried with him, and rose again with him. Oh, hallelujah. And today you can live, and you can live free in, in him from a life of sin, continuous sin, living that way. There's no more chains and bonds that make you a sinner. You are a new creature, a new creation in him, and today you can live. I said you can live, hallelujah, in the Lord, and and, and you're not going to want to do the old things that you used to do. If somebody did that, oh, come on, the best gift that he could ever give was give us a new life. And, man, I'll tell you, I don't want to do what I used to do. I don't want to do those things anymore. And when you get into his word, you get him in you, and you start doing those things, and you start looking to the word, the Holy Spirit convicts you. He writes upon your heart the right things to do, and then you want to be like him. Imitate Christ. If you're going to imitate anything, imitate Jesus. Imitate the risen victorious Christ not the one that walked to the cross because you don't have to go there but imitate the risen victorious Christ that oh hallelujah that gave you the ability to become free from the bonds and the shackles of the curse of sin and the curse of the law then let's go to first Corinthians chapter 13 and I'll get back to the music here it says here, and we're going to talk about love now, the agape love of God. Not, not natural love, but the agape love of Jesus Christ. That's Christ in you, his love, loving through you. Though I speak, verse 13, chapter 13, verse 1, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. Think about that. You testify and preach and tell people how you got, but you don't have love. They ain't going to listen to you. You're just a banging symbol. You don't mean nothing. Come on, it has no has no weight to it. You understand? It just clangs. It's noise. It, it, <laughs> oh, hallelujah. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. All that is done through faith, and faith is governed by love. Love for God, love for one another, love for yourself. Hallelujah, that who Christ has made you, the Christ person you are. Amen. Verse 3, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Nothing. Come on. You can do all those things. But if you don't have love, oh, hallelujah, then it profits you nothing. Love, listen now. This is the agape love. Love suffers long and is kind love does not envy love does not parade itself it is not puffed up it does not behave rudely it does not seek its own selfish self-centered it is not provoked it thanks no evil oh Hallelujah. It thanks no evil. Come on. It doesn't see it. It's it oh somebody's well you gotta be smart, Jack. You gotta you gotta watch out. You gotta trust. You just gotta be come on. See, what are we doing? We're not having faith in what God's word says. 
we're thinking evil, that evil's going to get us. We've got to be careful. we really got to watch our backs. Come on. But you trust God because God's got your back. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. We, we could think we got our back. Come on, and, 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 and there's nothing we can do to stop what somebody's going to do, what they intend for us, amen. So we trust God to have our back, and guess what? Hallelujah, he's got it. And I don't want to be one messing with God. Oh, hallelujah. I don't want to go against him. Come on, I don't want to go against the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's not puffed up. It does not behave rudely, does not seek its own. It is not provoked. It thinks no evil whatsoever. Things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are good report. Think on these things. It does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. The truth, what? Shall set you, know the truth, and the truth shall what? Set you free, make you free. It bears all things. Verse 7, love bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. It endures all things. Love, the agape love of Jesus Christ never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. And whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. But what did the first part of that verse say? Love never fails. That's the commandment he gave us. And when we fulfill that commandment, and you've seen what all those things that love doesn't do, come on, what love doesn't do, you fulfill the whole law by loving the way he loved. Oh, come on, somebody. Give God some praise in the house. And today, if you're in a place, come on, and, and you feel like you're falling short in that, don't feel condemned. Don't put yourself down. Don't Come on, you just turn to him, and, and you, you repent, which means you turn around. You make a, a 180-degree turn and start going the opposite way, and you call on him and say, Lord, help me in this area God begin, and he's, you know what he's going to tell you? Get in my word. Hear my word. Get in. Hear the preacher. And, and if you're not hearing the preacher preach, that preaches the word of God, that preaches, come on, the things that are going to turn you around and change your life, it's God and his word that's going to change you, not you and your actions, not, you, not anybody else and their actions, but it's him. And if they're not preaching that, then you need to find a place that does hear the word of God. Let it start to grow. Get in the word. Hear the word. Pray. Have a relationship with him. Love. Put it all to action. Put it all to work. And watch God turn around your life in a minute. Boy, he can do it. Hallelujah. And when he does it, he does it right. It will last. And it will give him glory in honor and we will see each other on the other side of glory god bless you today here now is christian crossroads with beautiful <laughs>
Praise God. That was Christian Crossroads, and here now is Dusty Allman with The Greatest Love Story. Let the Lord just love on you. Before salvation in a foreign day And 
that was Dusty Alleman here. Now are the branches with Amazing Grace. My chains are gone. God, that was the branches, and here now is Debbie Mills with Little Girl in the Attic. Hello, Brother Nick. She's afraid in the attic. As he stumbles at the door 
A strong smell of whiskey on his breath as times before. Unable to cope, mom slips out with another man. Little girl in the attic avoids daddy's angry hand. With broken heart, she wonders why it's her that feels his wrath. Plays church in the attic, sings songs to escape his past. Her baby dolls listen in this lonely, peaceful place. Songs about a father, her favorite amazing grace. The little girl in the attic was in God's house above. When she sang to Jesus, she found his peace and love. Singing to her baby dolls from the attic stair. Quotes of verse from Sunday school that even Jesus wept. Sixteen and barely grown up, she married a young man, needing his love, not the slap of his angry hand. But the man in her music brought hope from the abuse. You see, she and Jesus were innocent, beaten and bruised. Gave her heart to the Lord. She met the man in her music. He wrapped her in his arms with love. Amazing grace, no longer sung from the attic above. The little girl in the attic was in God's house above when she sang. She found his peace and love Singing to her baby dolls From the attic still Quotes of verse from Sunday school That even Jesus went She quotes of verse from Sunday school That even Jesus went Praise God, that was Debbie Mills. And I, I guess you could see me having some uh, problems there with, with a couple of things, but I think we got it uh, fixed back up. If not, we will shortly get it that way. <laughs> and just bear with me. Here now is a, a Elaine Peacock with Ain't Nothing Me and the Lord Can't Handle. Today 
Here now is Mark Bishop with You Can't Ask Too Much of My God. David gathered a handful of stones And where the soldiers had fallen He waited alone With a prayer and a little rock The giant fell That's what David prayed for And that's what David got You can't ask too much of my God You can't ask too much of my God A woman drawing water from a well So many regrets So often she failed Jesus knew where she had been Still he forgave her sin in her life. of my God On the three Hebrew children God smiled And when Sarah was 90 God gave her a child I believe that just as then He's here to move like that again He's got a miracle to do He only needs to hear from you He can't ask too much of my of my God when you're broken and you cannot find the peace of mind that seems to leave you behind have you spoken to the God of Abraham the great I am he's greater than of my God You can't ask too much of my God You can't ask too much of my God Yes, that was Mark Bishop and here now is Bonita Eileen with It All Comes Out in the Wash No 
nothing that is within yourself you can depend on to bring your needed help. But if it's cleansing for the soul you seek, you must listen, friend, to these simple words I speak. It all comes out. In its life-giving flow There is hope For the vilest one Who will come to Jesus It matters not what you have done It all comes out in the wash It all comes out in the wash It all comes out You are more than welcome. Amen. And all of you that have asked requests today and said thank you, I want you to know that you're very, very, very welcome. It is our honor and privilege to be able to play the songs that touch your heart that you like to hear as well. Amen. And I just believe that today God has been ministering to each and every one. And I want to take a moment now. And I want to pray for the needs of everyone out there today. Come on. I know God's been ministering to the needs. God's been touching. And I thank him for his amazing grace, for his love, for his power. Right now, Father, we just thank you, God, for being with us today. Thank you for being here in the chat room. Thank you for being on the radio. And, God, the needs of everyone out there, you know what they are. You know, God, if it's a headache, if it's a toothache, if it's a stomachache, God, if, if it's a, 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 a oppressive spirit, God, if it's depression, God, you know, uh, if, if our spirit needs to be healed, if our emotions need to be healed, God, right now, you know it. God, if it's uh, lameness, diabetes, uh, cancer, uh, whatever it might be today. God, you said by your stripes we have been healed. We are healed. And today we agree together. We come into agreement that you're moving by your spirit now, 
that you're setting free, you're making whole, you're delivering, you're, the healing manifestation is coming over them. God, if it's salvation, Lord, if it's just a closer walk with thee, if it's to know you in a deeper capacity, Lord, right now, move, oh, by the Spirit, hallelujah, and touch these lives today. Let everyone know that you have visited them and you have, oh, hallelujah, answered their prayers on this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare it, we decree it, and we call it done. Now give him the praise, give him the glory, hallelujah, as we listen to his royal blood band, Roger Limley, going down to the river. Pastor Jack Tripolar and Bethel Temple are working to reach the world for Christ. They are located out of Atoka, Oklahoma. We hope to appeal to the lost and encourage the believer through gospel music, Bible teaching, and God's holy word. 
If you feel led to help this ministry financially, you can send your tax-deductible donations to Bethel Temple, KOTG, Post Office Box 241, Atoka, Oklahoma, 74525, or electronically via PayPal at paypal.me slash Bethel 950. That's capital B-E-T-H-E-L 950. Please continue to keep this ministry in your prayers. Here now is the Black Family Step Out of the Boat. And that was the Black Family. Here now is Bill and, and Gloria Gaither with Hotel Hallelujah. Oh, one night while I was praying, the Spirit carried me away to a land of praise and worship far beyond the Milky Way. I saw a crystal palace filled with laughter and with light. It said, Hotel Hallelujah, and we're open day and night. Walked into the lobby, welcomed by an angel host. He said, we have rooms of love and peace in the Holy Ghost. I heard a choir singing like I never heard before. The Lord knows high praise is lifting me up off the floor. Before I knew it, my feet began to dance. Look out. I felt so fine, I had to clap my hands. Oh, I checked in the hotel, hallelujah. 
I said I checked in the hotel, hallelujah. hallelujah. Well, you can check out if you please. I don't ever want to leave the hotel, hallelujah, hallelujah. I went down to the restaurant, thought I'd get a bite to eat. The chef said, fruits of the spirit are our specialty. We have manna made in heaven, bread of life freshly baked. For your entertainment, I choir a serenade. Before I knew it, my feet began to dance. Look out. Said I felt so fine, I had to clap my hands. Hey, I checked in the hotel, hallelujah. Have you ever been there? I checked in the hotel, hallelujah. Well, you can check out if you please. I don't ever want to leave the hotel, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, you can dance all night if you please. Shout and sing, I'm free. Hey, you won't disturb the peace. No, you won't. Your neighbor is the Holy Ghost. You know he never sleeps. Before I knew it, my feet began to dance. Said I felt so fine, I had to clap my hands. Come here, Bill. Hey, I checked in the hotel, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come here, Bill. Said I checked in the hotel, hallelujah. hallelujah. Well, you can check out if you please. I don't ever want to leave the hotel, hallelujah. 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 It's time for me to get you back now. Before I knew it, my feet began to dance. Come on, feet. <laughs> You check in the hotel, hallelujah. Check out if you please. I don't ever want to leave the hotel, hallelujah. I said you can check out if you please. I don't ever want to leave the hotel, hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, praise God. That was Bill and Gloria Gaither. Here now is Carol Barham with God's Gonna Do Great Things.
Very good. Uh, that was Carol Barham, and here now is Greater Vision with a song about the blood. of Calvary And to the world I know it seems a tragedy But it makes me want to sing There's nothing wrong about a song about the blood No bad time to find that kind of saving love So I will sing about that story until this life is done There's nothing wrong about a song about the blood Now when I think about that place I feel the hope, I see the grace So it will be my song for all my days I see Jesus face to face There's nothing wrong about a song about the blood No bad time to find that kind of saving love So I will sing about that stream until this life is done There's nothing wrong about a song about the blood Nothing else could wash my sin away It was the blood It was the blood And for eternity my song of praise Will be the blood Will be the blood There's nothing wrong about a song about the blood saving love So I will sing about that stream until this life is done There's nothing wrong about a song about the blood So I will sing about that stream until this life is done There's nothing wrong about a song about the blood Praise God. Here now is Family Soul with Mighty to Save. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness. The kindness of a savior, the hope of nations. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is a mighty to save. He is a mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. Salvation, heroes in Congo. 
We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. That was Family Soul, and here now is Matt Redman, all over the world. They sang and all the angels shouted for joy, shouted for joy. And looking back through history, the people they have always had a song they must sing, a song they must sing. We are the people of God. We'll sing your song. For every heart to join in your song, join in your song. Every nation, tribe, and tongue come together, join as one. Give glory to God. Oh, glory to God. We are the people of God. We'll sing your song.
And here now is Booger Swamp Rhythm Section with Blessed Jesus Hold My Hand. Praise God. Here now is the Deddy Sisters with Don't Start Doubting Now.
Well, have you been blessed? We pray you have been encouraged by breaking up the bread and the washing of water by the Word of God, brought to you through the spoken word and song. You have been listening to the Pastor Jack Triple Hour with Pastor Jack and Linda Gale here on KOTG, KBAF, and Bayou Gospel Radio, all part of the WOTG Radio and Television Network. Our mailing address is Bethel Temple, KOTG, Post Office Box 241, Atoka, Oklahoma, 74525. Remember, we are here every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We invite you to share this program with others or host a watch party for your friends. If you feel led to do more, please feel free to contact Pastor Jack or Linda Gale, and they will tell you how you can be a part of this valid ministry. Or you can donate to this ministry electronically by going to paypal.me slash Bethel950. That's capital B-E-T-H-E-L 950. Or mail your donation to Bethel Temple, KOTG, Post Office Box, 241, Atoka, Oklahoma, 74525. Remember, let Christ be seen in you. No better testimony than standing strong in Christ, even in the storms. Well, thank you for joining us for another good day. We'll see you again tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Until then, God richly bless you. Bye now.